everyone welcome back to my channel or if you're new then hi i'm rebecca and i'm 29 weeks pregnant due to give birth to my second little boy on 31st of august and today i'm going to be sharing with you uh, what is in my hospital bag i've already done a what's in my baby's hospital bag which i will link below if you're interested in watching it then you can maybe watch that after this uh, but today i'm going to show you what is in my bag i'm all prepared i'm all organized well i think i am um, i'm going in there knowing kind of what i need to take this time because obviously i've done it before so i know what to expect and i know what to take so i'm going to share with you what's in the bag so let's just get straight into the video and i'll stop to chattering along about rubbish so this is my big hospital bag what has got all my things in um we'll start with whatever is at the top so this is my toiletry bag which is oh i forgot to say it. this bag is from primark um um, it was £12 and it's got like a big strap on it as well. It's just really big and handy. It's got loads of room in it. Um, so great to take all my things in it because some of the things that you take are quite heavy and stuff. So it's got plenty of room in for all my things. Um, this again is from Primark. It's just a little toiletry bag that I got. Um, and in here we have some breast pads because um, you obviously, if you are planning on breastfeeding, or even if you're not planning on breastfeeding, your boobs will start to leak. I need to obviously have some breast pads. I got this deodorant in there. Just a Garnier roll on one. I've then got shampoo. These are the Aussie ones. These are just the travel size ones. So I've got a shampoo and a conditioner. Um, because I probably, well, I don't know whether I will wash my hair or not. It depends what the situation is and what happens uh, but they're in there anyway because if needs be some simple face wash because I love the simple skincare thing so I picked up a little travel size one some dry shampoo in case I don't get a chance to wash my hair and I have really greasy hair and I want to look a little bit decent some simple moisturiser for my face just to keep my skin nice and moisturised because I probably won't want to wear lots of makeup so at least if it's nice and moisturised that's going to be fine um, I've then put in some of the Garnier Marcella water into a little um, clay bottle that I bought from Sainsbury's I think this was 90p or something and I've just poured in some of the big bottle of Garnier into this and packed some little cotton pads so I can take my makeup off if I need to also some lip balm um, because when you're having gas and air your lips can get really dry so I've packed in some lip balm in there also I need to put in my toothbrush and my toothpaste I need to get um I've got a travel size one but we go on holiday in a week so it's already packed for the holiday um so obviously I need to put my toothbrush in there and the toothpaste I think that's about it for my toiletries um, I've then got some, these are the Tesco Zone 24 Ultra Slim Maternity Towels um, because you will need them because um, obviously after you have a baby you bleed a lot and um, you're going to need some big maternity towels. So these are just a pack of 24, I'm just going to take the whole pack in. I've got um, nursing bras, I've got a grey one. These are from H&M, they're really really soft and lovely material. This is just a grey one, it's got the little clips on the side and a white one as well. Um, these are in a size, what size are they in? It says medium, so I'm hoping they're going to be big enough. Well, they're very stretchy and stuff, so they've not got any padding in obviously. So they're very comfy, very soft. So these were from H&M, they were a pack of two. Can't quite remember how much they were. But um, H&M have got some nice maternity things in. I've then got some big knickers. I've got four pairs of five. Five pairs of knickers. Oh, they're so sexy. <laughs> I am going to look so sexy in these big knickers. But we need big knickers because we need to be comfortable. And obviously, if you're wearing the pad, then it's comfier to wear these kind of stand knickers. 
Um, then got a nighty because we need a nighty to sleep in. If you if you're going to end up staying overnight in hospital, then you're going to need some pajamas. So I've got this black, just this black little nighty, and just got an old scruffy t-shirt um, because. I'm taking it just in case I need to wear it during labour. Um, it's just a little scruffy t-shirt that that I just want to put, put keep in here in case I need to wear it throughout the labour. If it's anything like Alfie's labour, then I'll be completely starkers and I didn't really care about what I looked like. I was just completely, just took all my clothes off and I wasn't bothered about what anyone thought of me because I was just too much in zone and that was it. I was just in labour so I didn't really care about having any clothes on because it was all just too messy and too stressful so I was just stark as most of the time so this is just in case but I'm planning on having I want to go in the birthing pool so maybe I'll just put that on for a bit just to cover myself up it depends how I'm feeling um, but yeah just a scruffy old top because it's going to probably get covered in goo and dirt and just yakky things so dirty old top I'm going to want a going home outfit I've just packed some of my maternity leggings um, that cover up the big bump because just because you've had a baby doesn't mean you're still you're not just going to go straight back to the way you were you probably still will have a little bump when you're going home um, so you need something comfy to wear so I've just packed some of my maternity leggings and just two vest tops and I'll probably just take a little cardigan as well with me and um, probably I'll probably put that on when I'm going into the hospital anyway so I've got a dark towel um, just because when you've had your baby you'll probably get a shower straight away and it's not going to be you're not going to be very you're going to be covered in blood and stuff so you need probably a dark towel so I've got a dark towel this one's just from Asda that I picked up the other day we've then got some fluffy socks because your feet can get cold when you're in labour apparently I don't even remember this happening to me um, but yeah I've packed some fluffy socks and obviously I'll wear them when I'm in my nighty and stuff as well if I'm staying in hospital also um, some of these little slipper socks to wear around the hospital because I don't want to have bare feet really walking around the hospital so these are just to wear when I'm in my room and stuff on the ward whatever wherever I am but, um, you're gonna need some snacks for yourself and whoever your birthing partner is your, your partner your mum whatever so I've just packed a few snacks I've got some sweets um, and some cereal bars because cereal bars are just just grab them and they're just easy to eat and I've packed Steve some peanut butter things because he's obsessed with peanut butter so got Steve some of those probably I'll probably get some more little snacks um, to put in the bag as well but these are just the ones that I've got for now um, because you're definitely going to need some snacks not that I remember eating a lot during labour I remember having some toast um, and being then being sick um, but I've packed them anyway because we might be hungry, we might be there for ages, we never know. So, plenty of snacks. Got some a pack of four Lucasaid Sport. These are the Caribbean Burst. Caribbean Burst, that's what they're called. Um, Lucasaid ones because um, they're obviously going to try and keep your energy up a little bit more because of Lucasaid. Um, and you're going to get really thirsty, I think, during labour. So, I've bought a pack of four of these to take in with us. Um, also, um, just a carrier bag to put dirty things in um, when you've got all your dirty clothes and stuff that you need to wash then you can just stick them all in this carrier bag and then things that are getting muddled up so you've not got clean things and dirty things so everything that's dirty can go into just a little carrier bag The um, Dextro Energy tab Tablets, these are just like, um, give you some more energy as well um, So they'll just make you probably just keep your energy up if you're feeling low on energy and you need to get them last pushes in and you need some energy so pack some of those. That's all I've got in here at the minute but when you are obviously going into labour you're going to need to take your phone charger, your camera, your camera charger, your phone and stuff. So those are things that you can grab just as you're leaving so maybe like leave a little note on top of your bag just to say don't forget the phone chargers, the camera etc and um, also if you want to take your makeup bag in which I probably will I'll just grab my makeup bag um, with just some some essentials in just maybe some concealer and my brows and stuff just so I can make myself feel a little bit normal not that it's a priority but it's nice to feel um, 
better about yourself obviously when you're in such a messy situation and it might make you feel better so pack maybe a little bit of makeup for yourself also don't forget you need to take your maternity notes with you and a birth plan if you've written a birth plan um but yeah i think that's about it i've covered for the hospital my hospital bag i also forgot to mention you'll probably want to take in a light dressing gown i'm going to take in just a really thin dressing gown as well and there was something else that I forgot to mention. Also in my um, toiletry bag there were some bobbles because you're probably going to want to tie your hair up if you've got long hair like myself. Then you're going to want some bobbles to tie your hair up with and maybe a hairbrush. Um, I'm sorry I forgot to mention those. Um, so yeah, a dressing gown and some bobbles and a hairbrush as well. I think I've got everything that I need. Um, if you think that I'm missing anything then please let me know in the comments and tell me what you think I need to take that I'm missing. Yeah, if you've enjoyed watching this video and it's been helpful to you then please make sure you give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel then please hit that subscribe button because I'd love to have you here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye!